Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourself for a referendum. Prepare for a massive vote mobilization. There are all signs and signals pointing at the possibility of the NADCO, the National Committee, Dialogue Committee, narrowing down to a referendum. I can say without fear of contradiction that we are handing the referendum. But I want to show you, I want to uh, separate this podcast into two. One, signs that we are handing to a referendum. Number two is why Kenya Kwanza would actually front a referendum as we speak. There are three signs that we are heading to a referendum. Kenya Kwanza, pro-Kenya Kwanza um, leaders are appearing before the dialogue committee and making proposals that would only require a referendum to be effective. Today, or not today, uh, last week, the man in glasses, Dax, Chererge, proposed the two term, uh, the seven year term for the presidency. President Trudeau. That's number one. Number two, IEBC is also proposing the elections to be divided into two. And LSK also proposing that we should have presidential election separated with the other elective posts. And those election stakeholders are saying this is a proposal that will help us to build confidence and have ample time to prepare from the presidential election because since 2007 we've actually had all disputed presidential elections so someone is saying we separate the two the other proposal will also alter the date of the election because according to the basic structure of our constitution here is we are supposed to have election on 10th august 2027. That's what the Constitution says. 9th August, not 9th. So, any other proposal touching also on additional constituencies and the revenue share, the revenue share as the one man, one man, one, one man, one shilling, one vote, all these proposals also saying, indicating that the presidential candidate should be allowed to vie as an MP and the creation of deputy prime, uh, the prime minister and deputy prime minister positions, all these positions we are talking about only comes and can only be effected in the constitution through a referendum. And that is one clear sign that pro Ruto side. Remember, these are fellows that told you that Katiba Amochumi and the Hatupangwingui choir masters shouted Uchumi. Now the Hatupangwingui team have also realized that not even now the Uchumi is at the table. So nothing happening about the Uchumi. So that's one sign. Number two, you will also realize that Kenya Kwanza are not speaking, are not countering the proposals that are gearing towards a referendum, especially outside here. I can tell you, if Ruto is not privy, if UDA is not privy to what Samson Chererge is saying, one thing you would have realized is that they would be taking all time castigating Chererge for proposing the seven year term. Let's take it. 
So it is very true. The only thing that is going to happen here is it might not take the the popular initiative. It will, it will actually take the parliamentary initiative so that when it goes through parliament, things that can be passed through parliament might be passed through parliament. Then things that will require a referendum will have to proceed through the referendum process. The vote, coll the signature collection, referendum, then vote mobilization, you create the vote camps, no or yes, then we head there. So I can tell you that uh, even if you look at, listen to panelists, there is a clear signal that uh, this is not what many were actually expecting. Number three signal about a referendum is the constant push by Raila and Kalonzo in the Azimio wing that despite of some signs of non-commitment on the government side, they must stick to the talks. They must stick to the talks. Martha Karua, Jeremiah Kioni, and Kamwene Kamp have been insisting that by all means, they must, uh, as we should pull out of those talks. Martha Karo has been so much specific on that, that Azimio must pull out from those talks. But that has, that has not been the situation. And in fact, Ryan and Kalonzo, in the meeting that they held last week, insisted that let them give them the benefit of doubt. And uh, there is a soundbite of Raila speaking in Luo Nyanza, and uh, he was speaking in Doluo. And he was saying that, Saizi, Mimi ni Menyamaza. Nimenyamaza kwa sababu tunataka tuone vile ile maongezi yenyewe inaongezwa na inaongozwa na Kenya Kalonzo inaendelea. Ikiweza kunenda matunda mazuri ni sawa. Kama mambo itaharibika ndio sasa mimi nitaongea. So that tells you that there is something that Raila you know Raila does not keep quiet. I can tell you that uh, Raila is a politician who you guys look at what is here. You look at what is in your eye but whatever is happening in this country now Whatever is happening about these talks now, Raila knew the time he was even calling the first protest. He knew very well the protest will happen, government will do all these monkey monkey things. But at the end of the day, Odinga knew that Tuto will come to the table. And you can take it away from him, but there is credit you cannot deny him. That he told you people that Tuto will come to the table. I remember the other time he was speaking, somebody said, Tuto na nijua tu. Are they not talking? Now, so you may want to ask now, what has changed? Do you think William Ruto, where do you think William Ruto would embrace a referendum? I want, I want to say this because there is a president in this country. No president, no president wants a referendum in the first term. Because of what happened to Kibaki. You know in 2005 the referendum, the yes or no, banana or orange that birthed the ODM party, uh, Kibaki saw dust. And after Kibaki losing that referendum, police, political euphoria built and that is what cost us the 2007 political tension because Kibaki alishindwa by a landslide. Now, when Raila tried in 2015 the Okoa Kenya initiative, Uhuru Kenyatta declined and used the state machinery to frustrate it. But in the second term, Uhuru Kenyatta supported the BBI. So that is why I was also telling you that William Ruru will not want it now. But why do you think he's up to it? There's something that Uhuru, Ruto knows a referendum can do and there are things he wants to achieve. The first thing Ruto would want to achieve is through the referendum he can find a new camp for the next election. And that new camp, you never know how things can turn out. If a referendum is floated, 
And Regadi decides to say, and there are some clauses that are brought there. For example, let me tell you, that extension of presidential term, Raila can support. Say yes, let it be there. Let, let him go that seven-year term. But for us, after passing, and they put a clause that after that referendum, we are going to restructure, so we are going to get those prime ministers and all those. Would we get the accept? No. So, Ruto would also be interested to find a new political formation ahead of the next general election. Number two. Uh, President Ruto thrives in vote mobilization. And while on some side he says he doesn't want mobilization, he thrives in the political euphoria. And that would give him an impetus to campaign throughout the five-year term. Create a campaign mode. Because when you create a campaign mode, that seems to be where the Kenyans will judge you, but not on the track record. Remember, Kenya Kwanzaa will not have a track record. I can, that one I can bet my sense of land. There's no, they will not sell a track record because it's not there. Whether it's by making or not, the shilling is now retailing at 150. I'm telling you. Even if it goes down, it cannot go down to where it was 121. It will not. Not now. So there is no track record now. And Duto would want to ride on politics and cover track record. In fact, he will say that campaigns have stopped me from working. Number three. I think uh, he knows very well that um, vote mobilization would actually uh, inject some resources. And uh, in any case that uh, there is going to be a change or there is going to be some referendum, he would easily strike a deal with Rai Lodinga. If the term is extended to seven years, um, I, I don't think Raila is going to buy. And if that is it, he would also use that to woo Mount Kenya. And, you know, because there is no political tokens, there's no political uh, advantages that maybe some regions are going to get because they voted for him, he will use such a referendum to float in some ridiculous classes, even that one man, one shilling, one vote, so that it takes some credit and say that I've done this for this region. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my take. I want to read your feedback. Are you seeing the referendum Kevin is seeing? Are you seeing? And what could be signs that you're seeing it? Thank you.